Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to The Witcher 3. In the last episode we met Bart, the seriously ugly troll. Yeah, so we're going into these sewers here in order to recover or uh, to figure out... Girl, I'm talking, please. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure out how uh, the thieves actually got in and stole Count Ruin's treasure. What's this thing here? It's a pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. It must have been. Now, I'm gonna loot just a little bit, just a tiny little bit, because there could be some... Oh, there's drowners this way. Oh god, he actually... He stung me. It's been a while since I've played this. Uh, it's actually been about a week and a half, maybe even two weeks. Because uh, I did, like, one huge recording session the last time I played this. Oh, wow. Nice reflexes there, girl. Take all this stuff. Monster bones. That's good. They're actually relics. Wow. Whoa! There's a lot of stuff there. Ooh, there's still more of these drowners. Wow. Just can't get enough of me. Yeah, so I'm not uh, the like smartest when it comes to going away from a game and coming back after freaking ages. Takes me a while to figure out the controls again. Oh, who's this? I felt the dick stride. Anybody home? Oh, there's quite a few. Wait, I've seen something there. Oh, what's this? Mm, definitely came through here. It's a gold ring. What's mine now? Oh, drown us. Die! There we go. Oops, another one here. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Girl, you're a tiny bit slow today for some reason. I wanna loot your body. Ooh, you gave me something good there. Oh, no, it's actually crap. Alright, oops, there's another little clue here. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb heart. Must be. Gold coin. Trey lines here. Why I must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Caramel? He started overlapping in what he was saying there. That was quite funny. Um, right, so. It's up here that we're going, is it? How are we meant to get up there? Oh, well, there's some stuff here I might loot. I didn't want to do that. Now you've attracted attention, Geralt. What have you done? <laughs> uh, I absolutely love this place. I love Novograd. It's my favorite, like, fictional area so far in a game. Maybe next to, like, Winterfell and Skyrim. Did I say Winterfell? Winterhold. Winterfell's pretty awesome as well, though, in Game of Thrones. We're going back inside? Do do do. Where is this gonna lead us? Okay, we're investigating the site of the break in. Um, hmm. Oh, it's below us. How are we meant to get in here? Well, I might have to go off for a second and uh, try and figure this out, guys. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. 
bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Alrighty, so um, we actually just had to go and have a look inside the area that we were already in. We didn't have to actually leave the sewers. Should have been paying a little bit more attention. But uh, we'll just go right back up to Dijkstra. He's just upstairs now. Um, it seems like the gases seem to converge in the bathhouse pipelines. So it seems like an inside kind of job. Someone's obviously infiltrated the place. I could have everything completely wrong. Um, but we'll go and find him right now. This place is like a maze. Oh, he's in here. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Dijkstra? Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novigrad. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah, a cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Alrighty, Rooney. Okay, so we're gonna expect these pools. I knew it would come in Nothing from here. this side. Nothing on that pool. I'm guessing it's gonna be in the one that he has. Oh, maybe not. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Okay, I found it. What do I do now? Look around a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? 
Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coot's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. You merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Ah, to cut your toe off. <laughs> Out of my way. Okay, so that's the updated quest. We're gonna go and do this. This He will hopefully uh, help us in finding Dandelion. And Dandelion has, of course, met up with Siri really recently. Actually, there's uh, an upgrade due. So we're gonna go and use that now. Don't know what I should really upgrade first, though. I think I'm gonna keep with the, uh, the signs because they're actually quite powerful and very fun to use. I could go for the fire stream. No, I don't think so. I'll go for the either the magic track or the exploded shield. What do you guys think? I think the yeah, it's the same glyphs, the Yurden sign. And what I'll do is I'll move this there. Oops. And if I can go and put the Yurden sign there. Okay, so that basically means that those are activated, because you can only have a certain amount of abilities active at one time. Or else you'd basically be a god in this game. Oh, oh sorry there, god. <laughs> okay, should be around this area. Oh, this place reminds me of, like, I bumped into someone by accident and they ended up starting a quest that was like a level 25. Hey, you. No, you're not gonna bother with me, I wanted to change some currency. What a nurse? What a fucking nurse! Okay, this is Henlick's place, isn't it? Oh, I have to use Ard. Okay, that makes sense. Bang. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Any chests there? Yeah, I'm gonna take whatever's in here. A casket. You can actually sell caskets in the game to some fella. Which is, I find really strange. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother looking at the bookshelves. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, what's this? A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Nothing to say about the, the wine? Or were they born like the same year? Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, there you go. 45 to 12.54. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Where do we go now? Oh, what's this? Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. Stain. I didn't mean Wyvern to do oil. that. What's in here? Okay, nothing really good. There's a big chest here, though. Siri. Menge is following me. He 
has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. So there is someone in the house after the cohorts of Sugar. Dandelion. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Okay, that's everything we need up here. But there's footsteps downstairs, so I'm eager to see what that is. Ah! Oh, damn. Oh, it's, it's Triss. Holy crap, that scared me. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Trace for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Alright, I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half-truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With 
my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Alrighty, so we'll meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine in the next episode. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you all later.